Hello and welcome to today's episode of the Channels Book Club. South African Songeziwe Malangu was announced as the winner of the 2014 Etisalat Prize for Literature at the Intercontinental Hotel, Lagos, Nigeria, on Sunday, the 15th of March, 2015. He won the prize ahead of Nigerian Chinelo Oparanta, author of Happiness Like Water, and South African Nadia Davids, author of An Imperfect Blessing. Malango's book, Pen Umbra, earned him the prize money of £15,000, a high-end device, and a book tour to three African cities. The winner will also embark on the Etisalat Fellowship at the University of East Anglia, which will afford him significant opportunities to network with other writers and publishers. The two runners-up will also win a book tour and Etisalat will purchase 1,000 copies of all three books for distribution across the African continent. We say congratulations to the winner and the other two finalists. Please don't go away. From 1975 to 2007, Ambassador John Campbell served as a U.S. Department of State Foreign Service Officer. He served twice in Nigeria as political counselor for, from 1988 to 1990 and as ambassador from 2004 to 2007. In November 2010, Ambassador John Campbell first published a book titled Nigeria, Dancing on the Brink. This insightful book explores Nigeria's post-colonial history and examines the events and conditions that carried a much troubled giant to the very brink. We introduced the book to two upwardly mobile Nigerian professionals to read, and we invited them to join us to share their thoughts on it. Uzoma Akuchi is a top IT professional with an international logistics and supply chain management company. Yomi Fawahimi is a writer, educator, social reform activist, and a human capital development professional with one of the biggest oil firms in the world. Yomi and Uzo will be joining us to review John Campbell's Nigeria, Dancing on a Brick. Um, in the meantime, Nigerians have mastered the art yeah. of dancing on the precipice. Yes without falling over. Many of the elites are still convinced that Nigeria is too big to fail. Now, that is consistent with the title of the book, Nigeria Dancing on the Brink, which is what John Mark, uh, Campbell you know, kept trying to emphasize in this book. Is Nigeria on the brink? I think um, several times Nigeria has been on the brink. I mean, I think sometimes the question is, is uh, how much, how, how, what's the gradient of the current blink we are on? I mean, and sometimes you think at every attempt we make the gradient become steeper. I think this election that we're going to, and that's what the chapter you referred to and Uzo referred to earlier, talks about another brink situation we're almost driving at, just because of the fact that we have quite a number of scenarios that could play out, that could be, that could be positive and some could be negative. I know sometimes I, I tell people that when you're doing political scenario planning in Nigeria, um, in other countries, you draw up all your scenarios and you pick the likely ones and you almost want to do your contingency planning based on that. But in Nigeria, you consider all the scenarios. I mean, as we went to that last election where President Yaradua emerged, the day before, nobody knew Yaradua was going to become the political president. I remember where I was when it was announced. I was wondering, was he running? I mean, so, yeah. so we, we like to drive that. So as we go to election in the next couple of days, there's a lot of fear in the land as to the possibilities that could happen as a result of violence or whatever. But there's also a lot of optimism that nothing will happen. <laughs> so, you know, we, 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 we seem to always have that idea of, okay, it's scary, but nothing will happen. Oh, I'm afraid, but I'm okay. I mean, so we, we always play that balance in that. Now, some people take it to an extent where they run away and they fed their families abroad or they say they're not going to be around. But a greater number of Nigerians have this optimistic God go do concept of life that God will always ensure 
this country does not get over that cliff. Mm. But I also know that God said, do not tempt the Lord mm. thy God. Um, Uzo, um, what's your general impression of the book? It's a well-detailed account. Um, gives us a sense of history, especially as regards um, past events around our electoral process. It's someone who is very high up in the diplomatic channels, who has a lot of leverage, who has a lot of connection, who has a lot of reach with Nigerian politicians, Nigerian diplomats, Nigerian businessmen, giving his own account of the events that preceded the 2007 elections, as well as warning of clear dangers of, uh, of us as a nation towing those same paths. Because the problem with history is people